it ain't about money. It's about building a career or something that you like to do. You can go to your job and be miserable and hate it and just do it. Or you can find a career that you want to do and start at the bottom. I think successful people in the world are people that found out what it is that they wanted to do young. Any kid can find out what it is they want to do. They just got to think about it. What makes them happy? What, what is it that they would do if they weren't getting get paid? That's usually the answer. Just growing up in LA, man, you see so much wild shit, especially in the 80s, you know? Um, seeing some of your friends pass, you know, will let you know uh, what's in life for you if you uh, live in those streets. One of the things I tell young people is that whatever you think about is true. Whatever you can visualize, you can make it happen. Don't blame your surroundings, don't blame your parents, don't blame these other things. Get a clear vision of what you want and then go after it. I like to hear other people's stories. So you see a formula and someone that's living the life that you like to live. Sometimes it can be one, you know, a teacher, it could be one of your relatives, it could be someone that you see on TV that has a hard work ethic and busts ass. Because you can't get anywhere unless you, you work hard. There's no shortcuts. You see in the riots, seeing gang banging is, is height, you know, surviving through high school, you know. Um, all the, that era reflects my artwork. I started off not to, to be famous or, or anything. I wanted to be notorious, infamous. You know, I wanted my name to be known, not so much what I look like, because I have a mind of a graffiti writer. So, I mean, you figure out later on that everybody can draw. Like everyone can draw. Everyone's good at that shit. It's a game. You know, where, how, do, how do you get known in LA? The people that stand out are people that put it in the right places, time it. I constantly put myself around it. I surrounded myself by other people that were doing things, you know? So finding out what it is that you like and, and immersing yourself in it, that, that'll save your life. Your tattoo leaves and, and who knows where it's gonna go, man. Sometimes, you know, it jumps on a plane. Sometimes it goes into the dirt. If only the tattoos could talk.